The Tulare County Sheriff's Office has created a new team that will be led by mental health workers. Liv Johnson spoke to the sheriff and explains how they'll be responding to calls involving behavioral health issues. Well, there's three things Sheriff Mike Boudreau is hoping to accomplish with this team. He wants to reduce the use of force by officers, stop crimes before they're committed, and reduce the number of people brought into the jail system that he believes might just need mental health treatment. And I talk to people who just need help. They shouldn't be in our jail. After receiving more than 500 calls regarding mental and behavioral health in 2020, Tulare County Sheriff Mike Bedreau has put together a team of four deputies that will respond to those calls with mental health clinicians from Health and Human Services leading the way. The idea is, is that the clinician will be actually uh, the first forefront responder. The deputy will step to the background. And the clinician will begin to evaluate that person in the field. And in the event there is a criminal act, do we make that arrest right away? Or do we allow the clinician to evaluate what this person was going through at the time? He believes many jail inmates should be getting professional help instead of serving jail time. And professionals will be along for every step of the process. What we want to do, hopefully, is that we identify those high-level uh, risk uh, me uh, mental health or behavioral health inmates who are released so that we can go up and follow up at the house and say, how you doing? Are you taking your medication? Uh, speak with family. Boudreaux hopes the presence and de-escalation skills provided by mental health workers will reduce the use of force by deputies and prevent crimes before they're committed. It's one part of the puzzle to relieve overloaded jails and social service programs. The mental health, the Department of State Mental Health, um, they are overloaded. There's no room at the end. So the local jurisdictions are going to have to do something to offset those levels of behavioral health issues coming into our local jail system. Boudreaux says after about a year, the office is going to present the data and results from this team to the county's board of supervisors, while Health and Human Services presents their results to the state. And then he hopes they will be able to expand the team, get more resources, and maybe other cities will follow suit. Reporting in studio, I'm Liv Johnson, KC24, local news that matters.